Fuyi succeeded to the Manchu throne at the age of three when his uncle, the Guangxu Emperor, died on November 14, 1908. He reigned under a regency for three years, and then on February 12, 1912, in response to the Chinese Revolution, he was forced to abdicate, ending the 267-year Qing rule of China and the 2,000-year-old imperial system. He was permitted to continue living in the palace in Beijing. Puyi chose Henry as a given name and was thereafter known as Henry Puyi in the West. In 1924 he secretly left Beijing to reside in the Japanese concession colony at Tianjin. On March 9, 1932, he was installed as president, and from 1934 to 1945 he was emperor of the Japanese puppet state of Manchukuo in Manchuria, China's northeast under the reign title of Kang. At the end of World War II he was taken prisoner by the Russians and returned to China in 1950 for trial as a war criminal. He was pardoned in 1959 and went again to live in Beijing, where he first worked in the mechanical repair shop of a botanical garden and later became a researcher in the Institute of Literature and History under the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference. His autobiography, From Emperor to Citizen, was published in English in 1964-65, and he was the subject of the 1987 biopic The Last Emperor.